Today I'm going to be making overnight oats and you may have seen it as bursha muesli. So bursha muesli and overnight oats are actually exactly the same thing. So I'm going to be showing you how I make my base muesli so that it's healthy and it's going to keep you going uh, when you do eat it. So it's a great one to prep in advance. You make it, it's called overnight oats because you can make it the night before. You do all the hard work and then in the morning when you're pressed for time, you've got something healthy and nutritious um, to grab with you. So it's a question of having the right ingredients and then they all go into the bowl and it's going to be very easy to put together. So what are those ingredients? The key one is oats. Any oats, doesn't have to be fancy, just cheap, good quality whole grain oats, certainly not refined. And then it's a question of proportion. So if you're using one cup of oats, then it's two cups of liquid. So I'm using milk here, and this is actually cow's milk, but you can use any milk you like. So you can use coconut milk, almond milk, any other nut milk, or even oat milk as well. You can also use water, where it'll be a little bit thinner in taste, but that's really down to personal preference. And then I'm also going to be using an orange juice, which will give it a little bit of sweetness and a little bit more tang. I think adds to the overall taste. The other key ingredient is actually the natural yogurt and it's better to use a Greek yogurt if you've got access to that because that's going to have a higher protein content. If something has a higher protein content it's going to keep you going for that bit longer so it's just going to be a little bit more of a sustaining snack or breakfast. So we've got Greek yogurt and then we've got grated apple which is going to add some texture and some tang to that and then the two ingredients that I like to use to almost supercharge your porridge, your, your overnight oats, um, is uh, flaked almonds, so you've got extra fiber and extra protein from the nuts, and then chia seeds, which is going to add in again more fiber and again more protein, but actually also some um, healthy anti-inflammatory omega-3s. So really by including all of this, um, you're going to have a really supercharged breakfast that is actually going to keep you going. And the last bit of flavor I always like to add in is some ground cinnamon. So, it's simply a case of adding everything in and then putting it into the fridge overnight, ready to use in the morning. So, here we go. Okay, so we'll start with the oats and then add in the milk, one cup, same as the oats, and then orange juice, two tablespoons of the Greek yogurt, Give that a really good mix and then we can add in the flaked almonds, apple, chia seeds and when you do add the chia seeds you may find that it makes the mixture very thick and if that's the case then you simply add in a little bit more liquid so whether it's more milk or orange juice or even water but chia seeds do do that they will absorb water and that's one of the reasons that it helps you to feel fuller for longer and then finally some cinnamon i'm quite generous with cinnamon because i love the flavor of it but that's entirely up to you and mix that in that's it and that's ready to be covered and then popped into the fridge for the next day okay so let's see how this is looking that looks great. I don't think it needs any more liquid. If it was a bit too thick, then I would add a little bit more, but I think that looks perfect. So we've got some pumpkin seeds here. It's quite fun to add a few in. So you've still got that crunch and I'll just keep some for a topping later. I prefer to add them in fresh because otherwise they can go a little bit soggy. And now we just need to serve it. Such a lovely, refreshing breakfast or snack. Really great one to use. And your toppings you can use are endless. So we could just add a few more pumpkin seeds. Um, I've got some crush, um, pecans here. And then perhaps even some berries to brighten it up. And there we go. And an alternative is to use some apricots and some Brazil nuts and I've already got some chopped up here so we're just going to pop those on there and some Brazil nuts 
and then perhaps another sprinkle of cinnamon. There we go. So this is a perfect one to take on the go with you and I like to use a jar because then it's really secure and it's not going to spill everywhere. Berries work very well, make it look pretty as well and just give you more antioxidants and more nutrients and then a few little pecans sprinkled on top. 